Hey everyone, Aria Labs here with the blog to watch. Today I'm going to review an interesting watch. This is a collaboration between Ace Jewelers of Amsterdam and Frederick Constant. This is a uh, version of their High Life World Time. It's called the High Life World Time Amsterdam because that's where Ace Jewelers is located. And the World Time um, has been around for a couple of years now, but for me this is actually my favorite version of it because in addition to some color changes, and a couple of little differences on the dial. Um, this watch removes this pattern, which you see on the center of many of the high life watches, which is sort of globe lines, like longitude and latitude lines, which I'm not actually that much of a fan of. And uh, the, the guys at Ace uh, seem to have the same idea. So what they were able to do is make a much cleaner version of this watch with this sort of black, red, and white tone, which I find um, quite handsome that is for me the best version of the high life uh, world time at, uh, right now. So that's that's re really cool and, and, and I think that they did a really nice job here with that. So let's take a little bit of a look of what goes on here in, in general. It begins with the high life collection from Frederic Constant, which is sort of their answer to the integrated bracelet design here. Even though the bracelet is removable and you have a strap that actually comes with it, which is quite nice. Um, it's a 41 millimeter wide case. Uh, it has uh, just under 13 millimeters of thickness, but you see that all those rounded lines, it's all polished and the bezel is rounded and the case uh, is rounded and it wears, I would say, slimmer uh, than you might expect for a watch like that. So you can see it on the wrist there. I've liked this a lot. I've worn it a fair amount. It's good looking, it gets compliments, but most importantly, it's very legible and comfortable and classy. The movement inside is produced by Frederic Constant. You can see it through the case back there. Um, it is their caliber FC 718. Um, it has a really nice presence there. You can see that skeletonized automatic rotor, um, nice level of decoration. There's one small quirk I, I wanna point out. And before I do that, I have to explain uh, what, the, what you're seeing on the dial here. So this is a world timer uh, with a date. So you have the main time in the middle, and then you have this ring, and then you have a, a, another ring of discs, uh, of, sorry, cities. So you have the 24 hour ring that's, that's two tone to represent AM, PM, and then you have a, basically a bunch of cities. Okay, so when you adjust the time, you have the main time changing and then the 24 hour ring moving. It's sort of like a GMT hand, basically. And then what you can do is you set the top portion to your local time where you are. Let's say you were in London, so then I would stop it at London there. And now you can see what the time is in any one of these other cities. So if it's about, it's almost, you know, be close to be about 10 o'clock there, then you can see uh, here in Hong Kong, uh, it's gonna be uh, just about 6 p.m. there. So that's basically how the world time city, is, the world time function works. However, there's a date uh, dial here, and that date dial covers up some of the, the cities in the bottom here. So if you want to read the time at exactly underneath here, uh, you, you can't really do it. You could, I guess you could guesstimate it and sort of approximate it, but this date dial is attractive and looks nice on there, but it does obstruct uh, that view. So I guess it's a bit, a bit of a trade-off, and frankly speaking, I don't know how many people like actually rely on this. Your phone can tell you these things right away. So it's an aesthetic thing, um, but I thought that was very interesting. You know, I would have maybe made that disc more transparent there, put a sapphire disc or something like that. Maybe that would increase the cost. Um, but I just thought that was interesting. You can't quite see that as, as easily. Maybe I'm misreading it. Maybe I'm, I'm stupid. I've, I've been known to do that from time to time, right? I miss something like that. But I, I really looked at this a lot. I've worn it a lot. And I'm, I, I, I guess it just obstructs it. But it looks cool. So uh, there's that. And um, as a world time, it, it is uh, pretty affordably priced because these, you know, in the Patek region can be very, very, very expensive. And I just think this is a damn handsome and comfortable watch that's very, very stylish. So a couple of quirks for sure. But those are things that make watches quite fun. Um, so again, this is the Ace uh, with Frederic Constant High Life World Time Amsterdam watch. It is a retail price of $4,295. It is a limited edition, and you can get it on the Ace Jewelers website. Thanks.